And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac. March 15th, 44 BC, the day a gang of toged conspirators assassinated Julius Caesar. A successful general and wily politician, Caesar had been declared a dictator for life just the year before. Fearful of his power, Caesar's rivals plotted to kill him in the Roman Senate on the Ides of March, and even persuaded Caesar's protege Brutus to join them. The story has been told and retold countless times since. Of course, in the play by William Shakespeare. A soothsayer bids you beware the Ides of March. A 1953 film version featured James Mason and John Gielgud as co-conspirators Brutus and Cassius. It too, Brutus. <laughs> with Marlon Brando starring as Caesar loyalist Mark Antony, whose funeral oration turned Romans against the plotters. Here was a Caesar. When comes such another? Never, never! In the early 1950s, it was even part of the series You Are There. Walter Cronkite was the anachronistic anchor. A stunned populace gathered in doorways and on street corners to repeat the news in hushed voices. And one version featured a young Paul Newman, believe it or not, as Brutus. The killing of Caesar set off a years-long battle for power. At its end, Brutus was dead, as was Caesar loyalist Mark Antony and his mistress, the enchanting Queen Cleopatra of Egypt. Seizing power was Octavian, Caesar's adopted son, he went on to rule Rome for nearly 40 years as the Emperor Augustus. <laughs> <laughs>